All right, guys, we are back. It's been two months. We are episode 40 of both sides of the line. Have no idea where we went. We went missing and went MIA. But uh, we, we sort of fan ourselves. We're back out of the bush and uh, back into mainstream. Hazza, <laughs> we're back. Mainstream. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Happy New Year. Back. Happy New Year. I haven't seen you since last year, in Jeez. theory. It's bad, isn't it? You and I, we haven't really... Oh, I have seen you. I've seen you at some game. Was that last year? It was pre-Christmas. So oh. I caught up with you at uh, at Broadmeadow Stadium. Right. The last, the last um, BJBL grading games before oh. Christmas it was. Yeah. So that wasn't, that wasn't like a couple of weeks ago. It felt like a couple of weeks ago, eh? Wow. Um, but yeah, time's flying. Nah, crazy. Um, Crazy. Great to be back here with you, mate, and in the studio, <laughs> back down TS. Um, I've been bulling to get here, just our schedules haven't lined up. Uh, we've both had, you know, uh, many different things happening, uh, work-wise and, you know, basketball-wise. just been hard to hard to cross over, mate. It's, uh, it's <laughs> been straight. Oh, yeah, we'll book it in how many times we cancel and uh, reschedule. But yes, we are coming out of very, even though we, every time we talk about unusual times, this has been unusual even more because it just feels like every week, the goalposts is changing in our schedules and in our life. So, yeah, yeah, yeah and now basketball's flying. That's another commitment which we probably never thought of, but it's a mm. good commitment. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, that's it, isn't it? That's it. I mean, look, for me, I'm not as obviously entrenched as you are, being a director of coaching and whatnot. I mean, I'm, I'm stretched. Uh, you know, two practices a week, practice games or games coming up, but it's more than that too. It's the it's the out of hours stuff where you know you're chatting to your players, you're chatting to fellow coaches and whatnot. It's it's it is nearly a full time job, nearly if you care, maybe if you care enough. Which hours, obviously we yeah, we're, we're, yeah. we're the personalities that do. So yeah. the yeah. hours are big, but the more emotionally connected you are, absolutely. So for us, it's a consequence of our choice. Yeah, but. Even though we say we're tired, but we do it because of the reason. We do it because we care. Yeah, we do. We do. And like like I just said, we're, we're very entrenched and, um, you know, um, devoted to where we are with our respective programs. And uh, it's it's exciting that we're finally probably at this point because we haven't essentially been at this point for the best part of two years, you know what I mean? Properly. So, Absolutely. Yeah. No, good hey, to be here, mate. Have you seen the Big V fixture? Um, yes, I have seen it. What's our date? I've got a feeling we meet twice in May. Uh, I think we, we play each other one week early May and then the back end of May. And a practice match in a couple of weeks. We've got a practice match so in a couple of weeks. So three times in four weeks or six weeks, we're going to play each other. Yeah, we'll see each other a little bit more regularly. Look out for the podcast for those weeks, guys, because yeah. it's going to be absolute trash. <laughs> <laughs> be a lot of, lot of trash talking. Um, as it will go MIA, as it will go MIA, he'll go hide. Not, <laughs> I no, probably will. I'll, my, my my schedule might be very busy all of a sudden. <laughs> I can't talk now. I mean, I mean, I'm in scout mode. Yeah. I'll just give him my scout. I'll have to. So uh, yeah, yeah, I'm supportive. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. But no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to coach against each other. I'm sure. Um, I'm, looking forward, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, it's good to see each other from a different perspective, different different line, but nothing will change before and after. No, hundred percent, hundred percent. Except uh, during, oh, you, you might want to throw a time out my way, something like that. Something. I'll sell you one. <laughs> just make sure I don't. Toss you a slab, as. Just toss you a slab. I, I am known to shake hands with people three quarter time saying good game, forgetting there's another quarter. So if that ever happens, can we just make sure that no one knows about that? No, I'll just tell you to take you guys off the court. No, I'm known to get a little bit. Uh, where are we? What day is it? Where's my timeline? It gets a bit lost sometimes. Jeez, I hope your boys know where they get themselves into with you, mate. I'll tell you, I coached a game yesterday for the first time for a while. It's been a while. Okay. Felt weird. Yeah. How long would it have been? So you coached a game yesterday, obviously with one of your... Um... So uh, Westmore, some yep. private schools. Yeah. Uh, A's and B's, two wins, so this is good. Um, yeah. I... The underwriting two girls, this time last year. No, we wouldn't have to grade phase. So we would have been a couple of rounds in. So what, maybe... <clears throat> April, when the shutdown come? Uh, it was about middle of the year where we got maybe a game or two and then we, we shut down again. Well, there you yeah, go. So about say, that time. So say six, seven months I've mm. coached. I mean, I've not been training. I just felt, yeah. I, was, I was running a little bit late. Don't, yeah. Sorry, Westbourne, even though I've charged you for the time that I was there. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I actually haven't even um, I was running a bit late. Yep. A few, a few th I, heard, I got some news yesterday with some stuff, so I was a little bit yeah. scrambling. Yeah. And then um, got there. I think I'm tired, but once I've got the boys in the huddle, all those words that you I just started spitting out. Just stuff. went bang, 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 bang. <laughs> yeah. And the guy who helps me, he's a great guy, Dave. He just goes, You are on fire. <laughs> I didn't know I had all these thoughts. Uh, you, you, know, you ever go, Do you ever do that? Do you think that. Oh, mate, all the time. I, I got to the point where it was probably a really self conscious thing where I, I would 
blurt out all this stuff, and it was probably too much. Right. So I had to, for me, I have to reel it back. Yeah. Yeah. But so, <laughs> so going, I think, you know, we're all different, right? I'm not a guy that actually has to really prepare for, I'm not, I shouldn't say I don't have to. I don't overthink and prepare too much for a game. Or yeah. try, once I walk in, I feel it, and then I start to. But sometimes I'll make jobs or training or a game going, even though you haven't done your plan days, if it, it feels empty. Mm -hmm. It's weird. Once I walk in through some doors and I get near that court, things just start to churn and turn. Yes. And I'm down going, shit, this is confusing. Yeah. But once I get on the court, the clarity. Yeah. I go, bang, bang, we're doing this, pulling that before you know an hour and a half's gone by. Yeah. I, I look, I'm a little different to you. And, you know, it's, we've got different personalities. I like to plan, but I can't say how many times you get in practice, into practice, and I'll say to the assistant coach, I go, no, we're scrapping this, we're scrapping this, and we're going to go this way. It's like, hey. you know, that's what coaching is. You adapt with what you're seeing. Um, yeah. <laughs> I absolutely hear you, mate. Absolutely yeah. hear you. So, no. Really good. We, we, we had a practice game, uh, youth league on the weekend. It was great to be back on court. I'll tell you that. Um, I was itching to, itching to be, you know, strutting up and down the sideline and carrying on like an idiot. But, um, yeah, I think we, we had a really great hit out and um, I'm hoping it's a really good sort of, uh, you know, platform for us going in the year. We're super young. Uh, you know, we've had, uh, you know, uh, Luke Allen come in as, as the champ man coach and, you know, a lead, lead coach of the, of the, of Wyndham, which is great. So it's a, it's a very clear and different new direction. And, you know, we, we, we've got a lot of new faces across our senior program now in terms of players and also coaches. So we're excited by what we've seen so far. We'd love to always say we're, we'd love to be further along than we are, but um, some real positive strides the last few weeks, I think. Yeah. 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 You find the ones who think they are established have still got a bit way to go because yeah. where people were, they may not be. Yeah. You know, how it was. May not be. No one really knows, mate, until you start getting kids on the floor. Because what outfit you may have had and might be the same collective group, yeah, may just not be the same. No, that's right. That's right. Hundred percent. So I think everyone's in going to that new fresh mindset. Let's see where it get a bit of a gauge. Yeah. And I think a lot of games will take a few weeks or these uh, when the big B starts a few weeks in before we start realising where people are at. Yeah, absolutely. Let alone teams and clubs. Yeah, yeah. What are you sort of seeing as the director of coaching, more or less, looking at the junior players at the moment? Obviously, they've launched into their second phase of grading. In most cases, what, what's the sort of feel around the traps at the moment? Uh, what I'm seeing, hot key points, or mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're actually finding uh, with defensive concepts that you know the old help, help two part. Everyone relies on help too much. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah, becoming yeah. a massive thing. So we're going back to the basic concept of learning to actually on ball pressure, off ball pressure, denying, delaying, yeah, just understanding. Yeah. It's those things that get lost after the last. Yeah, yeah. basic stuff. Years, you know. mm -hmm. uh, but also, I'm running some extra sessions, uh, but we're charge for for the club. It's yep. our way of giving back to the members. We think that you know, they're under our program. We should be offering as much as we can without them having to pay more. Yeah. So on Sunday, I did a 16 18 concept, 30 kids, that's so caps, first thing you can get it. Uh, and then a waiting list, where you start getting the communication, engagement, you know, how you do it, why you do it, the effort. It's yeah. not necessarily about the structure, you know, if you're not communicating, you don't bring the effort, you know, you know, if you're not understanding the how, why, and when. So we're just doing simple drills, making them become complicated and getting the voices, the effort, the movement, the, it's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, okay. two hours. So yeah, some people might work on a specific or this. Yep, I went probably a bit more generic, but it covered a lot of topics in that two hour session. Yeah. So I just feel as if people people have lost how to communicate. Yeah, yeah, that's been the big one. Yeah, I've seen that across. Um, you know, I make an effort to get to a few of our juniors games as well because I'd love to see you know how the juniors are tracking and obviously understand the talent pipeline for us. Um, but yeah, that's a byproduct of last again. We keep saying the last. Two, two years, 18 months is just, yeah, it's such a skill that if, if it goes un, undeveloped for so long or not worked out for so long, yeah, it, it just stands out straight away. It um, and it's so important. It's so important. Peel, we're just peeling back lads going to the basic, man. Yeah. Talking, working. And one thing I'm also working on is confidence. Like I know a lot of people are saying they're strong confidence. And I, look, I get that. But I'm also challenging them. Okay, well, if you give me 100% effort, it will start to help with your confidence. So if you mm -hmm. people ready to support you and they understand where you're at and how you feel, let's just bring the effort first. Let's yeah. not worry about how you execute the, you know, we don't make mistakes. I don't know how the precision of the execution, let's yeah. just worry about the effort. They worry about the end result straight away. Yeah. Just, just, just get back in the habit of, you know, this, 
This but step, this step, put in, put mate, in, give effort there, and you're going to learn along the way. God, it's only February. Yeah, make mistakes. <sighs> I mean, we've got to encourage mistakes now because mm. there's going to be a lot of them. So encourage it. Yeah. Rectify it. Evaluate it. Yeah. Transfer then, the learning. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah. And I'm yeah. saying, I'm just, I'm just making sure that, yeah, you know, I'm observing. Sometimes I think, Dad, are you really observing? But then again, I always say, when I walk on a court, I must be observing because all this stuff just comes out of nowhere. Yeah. So it's, it's coming out. Mm. But I get, if you said to me right now, let's write down, I'll be overthinking. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, I just blurt it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah I gotcha. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm actually doing that in real time, not in a planned situation. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I see where you come from. I was listening to something interesting the other day. Actually, before I go on that, I was just going to ask, how, how are the athletes looking mentally? Uh, time for tea, confused. Um, really? Is that yeah. just because school started back up and everyone's just, <laughs> you know, all the juniors are just uh, absolutely got, mentally stuffed. You've gone from a, a no schedule to a busy schedule and now you're trying to fit everything back in. Mm. And as you're still, I don't know if you're aware, some people still can't access certain facilities, you know, like schools or... It's oh, also, sorry. So you mean like in terms of practice and yeah, so, have those... So what's happening is yeah, when you yeah. try and plan your schedule, mm-hmm. it's not so simple because it's changing every week. So what people are struggling with is actually a okay, well, on Monday I'm doing this, Tuesday I'm now I'm going to do this. But every time you commit to something on a Tuesday, something changes to a Tuesday that's going to move to a Wednesday. And because you're doing rep, domestic, private, schooling, schooling commitments, yeah. other sport commitments, the schedules just keep changing. Yeah. So people are so tired and frantic that they're just saying, let's go do this, mate. Well, it's on Friday, Saturday yeah. rolls around, they're stuffed. <laughs> yeah. And you, and you look at this, your weekend's just as big as yeah. your games and that, right? Mm. But your weekends are far easier than getting through Monday to Thursday. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Schedule, schedule, schedule overload. Your, your, your availability, you feel that you've got no availability. Not me, I feel like I've got no more hours in the day, but somehow I just find another hour. I feel like there's no days in the week, somehow I find another day in the week. Mm. So I feel like I'm doing 25 days in one week and 75 hours in one day. Yeah, and coffee helps. You know what, well, exactly. So thanks for my coffee, by the way. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm just saying, I'm saying that, that they're, over, they're consumed or overwhelmed by the uncontrollable until things start to settle. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think I, you see that in performance then too. So you see all that stuff translate to performance. You go, you look at some players or athletes, you go, just not, not it's not right yeah just not right not and, and, you, and you can't go you, i think you, i'm reluctant to go oh it's just laziness i think there's just so much to uh, so yeah. much happening i yeah. think there's so much happening and i think it's probably just um instead of jumping to just oh it's laziness i, I hope that all coaches are just having those conversations with guys as well, you know well but if, if, the dialogue open yeah if you feel it looks a certain way we as coaches now need to ask is it is it how it looks yeah, yeah. Instead of judgment, like parents do and players do, let's just get clarity now. Ask the question, get clarity on the question, and yeah. then work on the situation. 100%. And that's what we're going to start to really push it in our program. Mm. You mm. know, just because it looks that way, I'm going to feel it may not look that way. And we've seen some, not with, in, we'll talk generic, we've seen situations where it's been read wrong. Yeah, okay. And then judgment has been made. Yeah. Um, you know, are they committed? Are they, is the effort? Is this? Is that? You know, all this. Well, just there's a simple way. Instead of worrying about the, is it this, 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 just ask the question, get clarity, and we solve the problem. Yeah, we we go the detour. Yeah, of course. Right, which is I'm really find a lot of. There's a lot of this, and I say just ask the question. Yeah, just ask the question, get clarity. Yeah, and we're going to stop all these things that are going the outside noises. And it's exhausting when you do that. Yeah, yeah and no? that's, that's what I'm noticing too. There's a lot of this. Less of direct. Yeah. Can we just get clarity on the situation? Yeah. Just because um, you're being direct doesn't mean you're being an asshole. There's a way to go about it, but yeah, just just eliminate the the the, the detour, the noise around it of them overthinking here, and yeah, just getting it completely wrong. That's yeah. like you know, a coach gotta be careful. That you don't just say, "Hey, player A, are you okay?" You're not gonna get the answer you think you should be getting. You need to say, "Are you okay?" Because I've noticed this. 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 Yeah, correct. If you don't <laughs> add to that question. What's the kid just going to say? Yeah, I'm fine. Right. Thanks. Fine. <laughs> you know? Like I said, I, I text someone today. Like <laughs> something's happened to someone. Something's happened to them. Yeah. So I just text them today. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do you need anything? Do I catch it? I'm all right. But thank you anyway. I'm all right means I'm not great. No. But at least, but at least they know that I went a little bit more into it. I know yeah. the response means that they're still they're, they're struggling. Yeah. So that's my way of saying I need to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Gotcha. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense to me. So that's that's our next step. We're going to be starting to make sure we're awareness, connections, communication, clarity, 
Uh, and that's with parents, players, and coaches. Yeah, 100%. Simple. It is simple. We hope the message gets out and spreads. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> I'm sure it is down at Hume Daz, where you, or Broadmeadows Daz, where you are. Oh, look, mate, I'm going to get things wrong. I'm going to struggle with my role because it's 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 COVID, it's like, you know, like everyone else is. It's a big job. I accept it. Yeah. It's going to time me out. I accept it. But I always said from day one, but I'll give it all I've got. Yeah. So hopefully I'm making the right changes in, in certain ways, but we have had to take a detour on some yeah. because we're seeing up there's all these things that we need to. Okay, let's sort that out first, which then makes that better in the long term. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably about just trying to pick the right battle or the right fire to put out first. Hey? And the right words. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's all yeah. good. We're getting there, you. mate. I hear you. So yeah. what's, what else is going on in your life? What do, what do you think? Do you, have, you, have you been seeing anything outside? Oh, no, nothing too different to what we've just been speaking about. I, I was listening to something interesting the other night. Um, I love listening to stuff because I shit ass at reading <laughs> well, i'm so bad at reading i, I should be sleep. a lot better i can't win <laughs> i should be a lot better i, I watch maths oh jeez <laughs> i don't i watched a bit of last night because i was bored but anyway here you go need someone else in here now. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> no i'm bad at reading and I, I i i applaud everyone who actually can sit down and spend the time reading i'm and a who's book smart and you know really that way inclined because i think it's a really good skill to have so I'd rather listen to me. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. The mind, the mind wanders less. I can watch and actually be engaged. <laughs> um, I was listening to something. It was a, a world-renowned sports psychologist was talking. I, I thought it was interesting. And I mean, he, this is a person who um, has been around athletes at a high level. But I thought, fuck, this is sorry. <laughs> you like <laughs> weird. Bleep, bleep. Just, just bleeping everywhere today. Um, <laughs> and I thought, oh, this still be interesting. Like, there's stuff you can take away. He goes. The common thing, and it's not just high level he said this, he goes, in life in general with everyone, people need to sit down and just sort out, understand, and we'll try and answer this question as clearly and as succinctly as you can. What do you want? What do you want? Because if, if, if you ask a lot of people to sit down, and I've been guilty of this many times, what do you want? And come up with three or four different things, it's probably not the right answer. Does that make sense? Spot on. Now, after you find, after you actually sit down and identify what it is that you want, then ask how much you're willing to put in to get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like well, how much effort are you willing to put in to get it? And then the the third part, which I found incredibly interesting, and I love watching SAS Australia because these guys are just mean and tough. <laughs> you hear the word suffer. How much are you willing to suffer to get it? Because nothing at a higher level is just, yeah, I just got there because I'm great. True that. On talent. The talent gets you in, in the door, right? But how much are you willing to suffer yourself to actually fulfill what it is that you want? Does that make sense? Oh, like, I found that just incredibly interesting, like incredibly basic. But I reckon if, you, if half the people sat down that are associated with sport or in schools or whatever it is and sat down and actually tried to work through that process... Like, how long would it take for some people to work through? Well, some of them have thought about it before. Because some people are getting told what they want. Yeah, well, you get told, outside influence, like, what it is you want, how much work you're willing to put in to get it, but then the layer underneath that, how much you're willing to suffer. That's why... I... Like, suffering, we, we get told that suffering is such a bad thing, and it's the, the, the generation we're growing up in, you know, we don't want people to suffer. We live in a great country, you know, poor, you know, We'll leave government running out of it. But we've got amazing resources, facilities. We're not a third world country. Technology is unbelievable. But we don't suffer. But, but, Unless you have like a personal tragedy and stuff like that to probably draw upon. Oh, yeah, that's, as, as, yeah. as, an, as an example of suffering. Yeah, no, I'm hearing you. I'm not saying everyone has to have, you know, something really bad happen to them. But suffering is, are you going to go outside your comfort zone and get up, I don't know, for example, 6 a.m. to go in for a 7 a.m. workout? Like just that sort of stuff. Like, it's not easy to do. No. So mm. it's not like you say, what are you prepared to lose? Yeah. Are you, prepared, are you prepared to go for the pain? Yeah. Are you prepared to go for the, I get worried about the word sacrifice, but again, it's a word that can be used. The words that can be used for these situations. Yeah. I see, it's just, it's just unfortunate. All these type of words become very complex yeah. with a lot of things going on with so much mental health these days. Like, mm. where do you draw the line? When can you use the word? Can I use the word? Yeah. I'll give you an example. I'll go off tangent, I apologize. No, you are. So when you're in Romy's room, you know, disability, mm. all, ability, all ability means all ability, right? 
But if you look at all ability these days, people think that's disability, then just change the word from disability to all ability. People are getting confused with the words now. Mm. So we say, okay, we want to work with mental health and people with disability. But if you actually look at either or, you can't look up something that covers both. There's a line between. Yeah. You're either this or you're that. Yeah. And we're trying to say, well, well, let's just take line off. But then you got to be careful. So as we're going through these workshops between the team here, we will find it hard to find the words or what you, words to use without having a negative or a influence either way. Yeah. It was hard to find the words. Yeah. yeah. Without having a impact in either direction. Either direction. Yeah, we, we three hours. Similar. Three hours. Back and forth. Yeah. And they went on the internet. And then the, and they and then they said even journalists are now only using certain words in certain dialogue. Does that make sense? In, in certain content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they only use certain words. Our, our news and journalism is so sensationalised anyway. But I, was, but I was just doing as a, I'm not worried about it, but I was just as a, what do they do? Yeah. So what I was thinking, they're doing, thinking there's certain words we don't know when and we can't use them. Yeah. If it's a word, how does that mean? It can be used. Yeah, okay. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. You've gone off on a tangent here. So yeah, bad. I agree. I get lost <laughs> no, no, but oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm. No, yeah, it's just words. Yeah, words are, words are very interesting at the moment. We, we, we went through a similar sort of exercise with our group um, around, and we arrived at the same sort of spot where you were by the sounds of, we've, we've got this word, but we're, oh, what's the give and take of it? Yeah, it was interesting to try and sit down to find that with a younger group again, again, who are probably still getting familiar with each other, and they've all got different points of points of view and different values, so that was an interesting sort of exercise as well. Yeah. It just means it would become complicated. <laughs> I don't know if it's complicated. I think people just have different perspectives and maybe we've just over the course of a little while now become less tolerant of different perspectives on some levels. But do you think? Yeah, I, to be fair, I've gone blank because now I'm thinking, you know, sometimes we overanalyze, sometimes we underanalyze, sometimes we don't appreciate what the word means and what it stands for and, and what that's directed at. And sometimes it loses its meaning. Mm, mm. <laughs> it's like when you say, oh, let's go to war together. We don't go to war. We're playing sport. So let's go to sport together. We're not going to war together. No, no, no. We're not going to go into battle. We're going to play hard. That There's different ways we'll go that way. Yeah. Then you say sacrifice. Okay, well, you're right. If you're going to sacrifice something to become better at something, yeah. it's a sacrifice. Yeah. It's a suffering because, you know, the pain that you've got to go through, you know, do the extra on your body, on your legs, on your mind. Yeah. It's suffering because you're mentally fatiguing. Yeah. You're physically wearing down. Fatiguing. Emotionally. Yeah. You're also going to make decisions on social. Yeah. And, and, and you know, you're not going to attend, you know, grandpa's birthday for whatever it is. Um, it's, it's, it's a, it's an element of suffering and there's, there's some, there's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that. I just wish we didn't have to be so politically correct at times. <clears throat> yeah. I think sometimes we just a bit more laid back and just let people say what they try and mean yeah. and evaluate from what the way it was said. Yeah, then behind. Yeah, rather than jump on them for. Yeah, crucify, strap, bang. Yeah. No, hang on. Did you see how I said it? Did you see what I meant by it? Did you see, see where it what came I'm from? trying to say here. Yeah, yeah I get you. We're very, judgment, judgment, judgment. We're very judgmental. Yeah, yeah. So, look, yeah, it's an interesting thing. It's a very interesting concept that I was listening to. Um, but it's amazing, I think, that the same conversations you and I are having are happening at upper high performance levels of sport as well. So, and, you know, across different levels of society. So it's just a widespread sort of thing. Isn't it? Do you think there's a piece missing in information via, I think a lot of people see things via video or via... Well, I do because yeah. I can't right. <laughs> bother sitting down reading. But, but you feel the emotion <laughs> with the music and the oh, background and things. Yeah, I think... try to not have listen to stuff where there's emotionally control. Well, I think I... Emotionally... Yeah. Things that influence you emotionally. It's just very much matter of fact, sit down and listen. Yeah. Not the music. But, yeah. yeah, but you get that buy-in, right? You get to see the surroundings and the environment. You get a feel. So sometimes I'll talk, you know, I get a mutual look at all these guys who are mentoring and you know, inspirational speakers. And mate, I could sit myself here, put a green stick green behind me, pretend I'm sitting in a private jet, and give myself the, hey, I'm a success, right? <laughs> Yes. So that's a bit of fun thing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to sit in my little uh, Hawaiian shirt with a backdrop. I'm going to sit in the private jet with a backdrop. I'm going to do all these weird things <laughs> to show that I can actually influence and show that you might think I'm a success. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. One thing I'm seeing, I was just saying, I've got nothing into it. I don't know. Matthew Mahog Mahogany, the actor, he's got a great speech on YouTube, right? Yeah, he does. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't heard it, it's but my problem is, 
I'm doing something opposite. I love that speech that he says at this time. Yeah. But would that have been the same speech at 17? We had no money. That's right. Lives in the back street or back house or back house, well, not being able to pay the rent or utilities. I'm just probably making it worse than what it is. Would that speech have been the same? What I want to say to Jenny is how the speech would have been, how it ended up, and the in-between. We don't get to see the in-between. No, but you've got to understand the context in which he's speaking now. But, no, no, but yeah. because all of kids, people get motivated by that. But kids think, well, hang on, that's what I want to be. Yeah, but you don't know how to get there. Yeah, correct. So what I want to do is find a way, if you go back a step, appreciate the end result, but we've got to see what led to that speech. Yeah. We've got to see it. But I wish we could somehow find the in-between information on how he was to where he is and the in-between the hard yards. Correct. Where, yeah, you know, God, yeah, you want to be you want to be a mania. Okay, well, it ain't going to happen unless you, again, okay, one time you're not going to probably be able to pay a bill. Mm. You might come down to your last dollar. The last time you might think this is going to be the last time I'm going to fill up my fuel tank. You've got to keep chipping away and working. Yeah. That's not the, 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 the even though it's a glory, yep. there's a lot of pain and suffering to get the glory. Absolutely. So not many people achieve that no. unless it's been inherited or handed down to them. Yeah. But not a lot of people speak about it either, to be, per that's my point. To be perfectly honest. So you, that's my if, point. If you're someone who's trying to find your way, you definitely want to find those people who have had authentic experiences that you can relate to. And that's more that, I don't think we've seen enough of that. No, no, no. no. And that's why that's what I'm seeing the at. ESPN yeah. highlight. So I'm not <laughs> nuts. So, yeah. so it wasn't a Matthew, Matthew Mahogany story. Mm. I said we get caught up in the end. Mm. We get so fascinated by it. We get inspired by it. Mm. And then we're just down again 24 hours later going, well, I can't shoot that. Because reality kicks in. But if you see the step by steps, you might think, shit, you know what? I can do those steps. I'm a little bit more ahead of that moment. So, you know what? I'm probably in a better situation. It gives a little bit more fuel in my desire to what? Have another crack. Yeah. You think yeah. your measures right? Mm. I see that's missing. Yeah, no, absolutely. I agree with that. Yeah, I don't think you're wrong. So, think... what, what I'm asking mm -hmm. as a project, can you and me pretend that we are entrepreneurs and we are very successful and sell it and make people think that we are absolute multi millionaires yeah. and just see oh, how it tracks? Yeah. So, you guys, so are we going to that? Like, we're going to put the green. The backdrop? Yeah. So I'm in my private jet, I'll wear my okay. suit, I'll have my bling. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we'll go to another backdrop. Okay. And, we're going to and, and, and we'll do it every, every Monday for four weeks. You know, success is all about this, this, and this. Right. And let's see if we can convince people that we are absolute successful when actually we're just normal people who just wear thongs and t shirts and just bumps. No, we're, we're, we're battlers. We're, we're Western suburb battlers. Would you like to try and create a facade? <laughs> I don't know if I like. That. I don't know if I like that. It's a good experiment. <laughs> I don't know if I want to commit to you know being a bit fraudulent though. No, nah, we'll, we'll just. Yeah, I mean, we won't take money and, and all that stuff. We won't take. Uh, we might, we might. Actually, if we offer workshop, <laughs> actually, I'll take the money. So no, buy. So that, fund me. Yeah, so I buy a new green <laughs> screen to make bigger, bigger. But do you, all jokes aside, do you yeah. get what I'm saying? I get exactly. Well, get exactly what you're saying. Yes. Because just because it looks that way, it doesn't mean it is that way. And sometimes, in the positive or negative experience with sport or whatever, we get caught up in the how it looks. Mm, mm, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Not actually how it is. Yeah. And that probably goes back to your original quote, what we're noticing. It's, that's, what, that's what we're noticing. Yeah. That's a very good way to go about a, a situation or a question to a, where this conversation go? Oh, our conversation is going in <laughs> just went. <in> its direction. <laughs> I think we made sense, guys. Yeah. So I, I hope we did. Yeah, but, yeah. I hope so, but I look. I, I just want to. I just want to go back to. It's one of the best things I've heard lately. I think we've honestly touched on it in different podcasts that we've done, mate. Um, but just you got to set aside the time to sit down in your own little quiet space and write down or type down. I don't know whatever works for you, but really hone in on what it is that you want. And if you're coming up with five different things, you probably ain't there. So, do you, do you think a lot of people don't know what they want? Hundred percent, because you get influenced by oh, mum. Not to discredit parents, of course. I'm a parent, but mum or dad, it's it's not so much what they want for you. It's what do you want? Does that make sense? No, it's 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 a hard thing to do because there's so much information in your face, and you you, you go through things at school and whatnot. You think things get pushed on you that you go, oh yeah, that's what I want. But really, in, in matter of fact, it's it's definitely not. And that's what probably why you're a little bit unhappy. But you get lost without in being a sports psychologist. I'm not a psychologist, but I'm just trying to common sense, logical just, Yeah, yeah, we well, need a psychologist on. Yeah, but but it, it, being a psychologist, it's just it's just logical thinking. It's just 
a lot of people have an opinion. Mm, mm. But what people don't realize is, and, I've, and I know I've done it with, with not intention, but I've done it. You actually try and give your opinion, but you start to push your opinion. Yeah, I'm conscious of that too. I, I hate we all try it, but stuff. even though we try, even though we don't realize it, we're all guilty of it. Yeah, no, you. No one can tell me not. I don't do it. I've seen well, people, as coaches, we do it very, yeah. very often. Yes, of, but if I say people. to you, you might just as you your man, I might say. Um, Basketball is going the wrong direction right now. You might say, no, it's not. <laughs> Straight away, your opinion, and then you want to have your opinion. What I'm saying, it's the way someone could react. It's the way someone could betray. Sometimes you just listen to what they have to say. Sometimes it doesn't need a response. That person just wants to say their opinion mm. with no fighting back on mm. them having to become defensive based on their thought or yep. their opinion. Mm. The mo- this is the most conversation now, right? Someone just wants to say their thinking for the day. Yeah. Someone wants to counteract that. Yeah. And I'll shut down that thing and redirect that thing and say you're well, wrong this, with your thing. This is happening to me. <laughs> just, 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 just be quiet for a minute. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm naturally an introvert. So I, I can, well, I hope for the most part. I don't do it all the time. My wife will tell me that I don't. But <laughs> <laughs> I hope that I can sit there and listen and, and observe and without, you know, just pushing a, pushing an opinion or a value the other way. Or, but yeah, sometimes people don't realize you're doing it. Yeah. Sometimes people don't realize they think they're doing it right in return. So we had an example. I won't say what the example was. Mm. Someone thought they were helping someone, but their 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 opinion was actually going to hurt someone because they didn't really know the story of why that person's in that situation. Right. So all the ideas they had for them to try and make something better, mm. unachievable because they're totally exhausted in all avenues of opportunity to get. So I won't say too much, right? Mm. So when I'm realizing it's all good that you feel good that you gave them all this thing out, they're just going back now going, what I'm doing can't work. Yeah. I've exhausted all my finances, I'm fully committed. And I've actually just got told that it's all wrong. It's good that you gave that view, yeah. but not realizing that person's going to get back now going, now what? Yeah. You want know my point? Yeah, I get your point. Yeah, it's a... I've said that a few times, to be, it's been a strange week for me. Ooh. And I know, I mean, I know I've, I've been guilty. I'm not going to deny that. I try and. I'm conscious of it. I'm cautious with it. Yeah. But at times I don't realize I'm doing it. And then I always, every time I get in the car, I always think, how'd you come across that? Were you, were you trying to get across the way you thought you should have? Or do you think it could have come across wrong? And I evaluate that every time. Oh. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. Always. And again, what you do is more, more, more breadth of a role than mine, but I do that. Every every night after practice, I think. Yeah, but <laughs> okay. Jeez, I just probably said this, and it was probably not oh, the right way. I should have said it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but that means you care. But it also means that did you leave the practice with some, anyone in that group? Did they leave with a question mark? Yeah, that's that's right. And was that's I part, what you was, was I part of that question mark? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. So I'm always if I think it's a, if, I, if I think it's a small question mark, a text will go out or a phone call's made. Just so I know, to come Thursday, that doesn't become a problem. Yeah, fair. Whether I'm right or yeah, wrong, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I like to think, so all coaches and kids, I like to think so no one should leave. So that means you're doing a train drill, you don't understand why, you don't go home with a question mark. Mm. So the player needs to be accountable. Can you please explain, Aaron, why we're doing this? Yeah. Not rudely saying, why we're doing this, just what's the purpose, the how, the why, the when, how to do it, when to do it, why do it, why we're doing it. Mm. Great. Coach, if you said something to play, you're not really sure how that was taken, and you're starting to doubt it, make sure that kid has very much clear clarity what the message was. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And then parents won't ring. Mm. <laughs> That's another problem. <laughs> <laughs> you hope. And avoids another problem. Mm. Does that make I sense? Agree. Yeah, I agree. It makes sense to me. Makes sense. I, I, I wonder how many people just sit and listen. Uh, it, it, it's funny. It's funny. Funny question. I I think I'm fortunate enough to still have um, both sets of grandparents here. It's amazing what they say as to you know how many people listen these days. Am I? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I thought I sort of died then. No, we we're, we're, we're quiet then. Yeah. Sure. Um. Yeah. They sit around and go. Oh, people don't listen anymore. <laughs> Well, okay, okay, <laughs> when your grandparents talk, you mm. listen to their stories. Oh, I love the stories. But when you, but the, but the generation we're now, losing, and you're we're losing all those stories. Yeah, what were we already thinking? We're response. Losing, yeah. What were we thinking about? Think uh, about uh, response or one up and you or whatever it is. Uh, it's yeah, the, the stories our grandparents have, mate, are just phenomenal stories. I just yeah, I think we're we're going to lose that as the generation sort of roll on. 
we've got to figure a way how we can sort of preserve the yeah some of those amazing experiences people have had where you can just have learnings out of it yourself yeah so i can't tell kids we need like a, an audio library where people sit and talk about you know when i was 30 back in 1970 something or whatever it is and i was working on a truck or fixing a fixing a trailer or whatever it is like just stuff like that like yeah it's just i don't know call me old-fashioned maybe well i think we raised this a while ago there's a library that you go and sit with yeah, someone it's a and country in europe there's a country in europe i can't remember which one it is it's like north one of those northern yeah. european countries Find a topic they'll bring a person in yeah. that's your library oh, yeah yeah there's one that i don't know if i've told you so i went to the innovation summit yes so amazing speaker i can't remember his name that's one thing i've got learned i'm not very good with my names right now he was into artificial intelligence some parts I love about it, but some parts scares the hell out of me. You see too it's much. It's amazing what you can do <laughs> and what they can, it's amazing. Mm. So what he did, one part, he, he, was, he was able to get a, a child who could not move any of their body, he had severe cerebral palsy. Yeah. He was able to drive a car with his eyes. Wow. Like, I'm telling you, it's wow. that. Wow. It took 25 goes. Yeah. He went through, and when I say just a little track, it was able to control this little buggy, right? And they, went, they did all these things, and it was crazy how they went through it. But then he says, how to be that if you lose someone, that you can recall them back up? I'm saying, where's he going with this? Mm -hmm. They call him the avatar. So he got an old lady and her partner, who was alive, who's still alive. So what they did, so we, they can do it now, they started to get all the information, like data and how the computers work. It's just, it's just data entry and how we think and minds and all that stuff. Yeah. So what they did, they then created a, uh, what's that, you know, they do the- Virtual reality. Virtual reality. She sat, put the virtual reality and saw him sitting at the counter and asked questions that he actually spoke to her as if that was him right there. No. Oh, mate. I'm that's sitting there going, amazing. Now, amazing in one respect. I think that's, yeah. But what scares me is, yeah. if you lose that person, would you would you never reconnect somewhere else? Yeah. Oh, I think that's a distinct possibility. But it was just, but the avatar. So when you said about, so that, sorry, the reason why I said that is because you went to getting people's stories and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. They're creating the avatar. That's amazing. In virtual reality. That's amazing. And you look real. Yeah. You're talking. Yeah. You're responding to my questions. Right. It's just data. It's just like a computer talking to it. It's so just... we could be doing these podcasts in when we're going. Yeah. <laughs> so I could bump you off tonight and no one know. And I always use the avatar. <laughs> avatar as. Jesus Christ. It's crazy, yeah. man. And I'm sitting there going, I'm, one minute I'm so entranced that I'm a bit scared it's by it. And I'm thinking, scary too. Yeah. when do we learn when, to yeah. disconnect, reconnect? I, I don't want to lose anyone near me, but you get my point. I just—I mm -hmm. I was just going for this mixed emotion, mate. Yeah, yeah, that's an emotion. It blew my mind. For that. Yeah, absolutely. Aria. Yeah, that just made me that remind me of that. The Avatar. Wow. Jesus. There you go. It's crazy. It's amazing, it's amazing what, what what sort of can possibly be coming around the corner. Well, if, I don't know if you do much <laughs> reading. I don't, but what he reading? showed. What he, what, <laughs> I don't do many much reading. <laughs> what, this kid, what this kid's done, he's yeah. about 35. Yeah. What he's seen and what he's discussed blew me away. Wow. I, I knew. What, a, what an incredible mind. Yeah. I know we're advanced. I know we can create some amazing things. Yep. I never knew to the actual. So there's like this guy who was able to take weight standing up, supported, supported stance. Yeah. So his spine is totally snapped. Yeah. So electrician, right? Mm, yeah. Kind of goes through the wire. Yeah. You cut the cable. No, there's no, no signal. signal. Yeah. Cut. Yeah. He was able to stand, supported. That's amazing. I'm just like, I just need to get home. I was getting, I was getting like tired and run down. So we're never going to get the point where you don't die. <laughs> no, nah, let's not go there. Let's not go there. It will be here forever with you. You'll That's not a conversation. But yeah, but like I said, the avatar is what I brought because of the audio. Yeah. The information, the library. Uh, Far out, mate. Yeah. That's amazing. I was got. I mean, when I, when I get to know people, I get fascinated by their story. Mm. Mm. Like an immigrant, why did you move to Australia? An import for for yeah. why did you come to this town to play here? Yeah. What made you pick this over that? What made you come? All you know. What made you make that call? Mm. I get fascinated by that. Yes, absolutely. 
I think we need to be more fascinated by the person story rather than trying to one up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Flex, it. Flex it. Yes, that fake toughness. It's everywhere. Anyway. Well, how we um, feel? We, I think we went totally everywhere. I think we've gone everywhere. We're the good one, first one back. I'll I just want to say as well, just good job with Romy's room. Yes, we're getting uh, there. I'm some great stuff happening there. Um, and, you know, the, the innovation. Summit. Summit. That was awesome to see as well, Daz. Yeah, um, so well good. done to yourself and the team for yeah what you're doing in that space. It's amazing. So, no, I appreciate it. I just wish we knew what we're doing. We just take it day by day. Hey, hey, we'll make a difference. Hey, the message is getting out there and it's getting traction, and people are you know paying close attention to what's happening there. So keep, well, keep, keep up the good work, mate. I appreciate it because last team. week I think it hit me. That's the first time with all the traction. Yeah. I thought all after all these years yeah. i thought maybe i haven't had that i haven't done the right thing yeah but last last week of all the things that come out i realized we're, we're actually doing some amazing things yeah and we're doing it with sort of rebranding for the first time after 11 years in the business yeah with support yeah for most business i haven't exhausted avenues i'm just happy that it's giving me a new lease of life otherwise yeah. i can yeah we're done, but no, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, but everyone awesome. has been supporting us, has been amazing. We're yeah. very, we're very grateful and we'll keep doing because of that. Yeah. Awesome stuff. Nothing will stop us, mate. No. Awesome. Well, episode 40, the next one will be in six months' time. Uh, Aaron <laughs> just doesn't want to. No, we're going to have avatars going here. We're just going to ramp this baby up. We won't see Aaron in March. We won't see him, oh, sorry, in May, because apparently we're playing each other multiple times. <laughs> I won't see him in March because he'll be stressing about Prax Match. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have beers the night before. Or are you going to be scouting? Are you going to be, be no, not before, not before. Do you you're gonna, during you and me could have a beer for a game and not even discuss a game and just have a beer and not worry about what's happening? No chance. Okay. <laughs> You'll be in the head. I'll be the hey, What's happening here? Oh, what, who, such and such, are they doing this? Blah, blah, blah. What's this scout report say? Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Chinese wall be going well and truly up. Eh? Oh, okay. Nah, we'll definitely, we'll definitely probably catch up before and definitely after. That's for sure, mate. Maybe we need to put a chessboard here. We could. Just yeah, to start, the, 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 the start. You can the have start. the checkers. I'll play with the checkers. All right. So every time oh, we should do a move, move every episode. Mm. We'll, we'll never finish the game. Oh. All right, we go. We happy? Yeah, mate. All right. So love so to nice. you, mate. Love to all. Thanks for coming back, mate. Appreciate. Oh, great. It. I have no idea what we discussed, but I hopefully had some sort of content. <laughs> no, it will be good content. So we call it off in a tangent once again. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, love you. Take care and see you soon. See you soon, guys. See Bye. ya.